Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're taking a look at a absolutely, totally free way of recovering lost files from your computer, flash drives, memory sticks, all that kind of good stuff. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so today's video is going to be about WinFR GUI Free, which is basically a skinned version of the actually really good Microsoft Free File Recovery software. Normally, if you use the free version, Microsoft File Recovery, you have to do it all through the command line and actually have to understand what all this kind of stuff is. It's really good because it gives you a lot of flexibility because you can choose different flags, etc. But for a lot of people, it's a little bit daunting and you don't want to do it. So. The clever guys over at Amisoft have actually made a kind of like a GUI version of it. So let's take a look at that. So this is WinFR GUI free. It explains what it is all there. Obviously, if you want to pause this video now, you can have a quick read through that. But essentially, all you need to do is download the free piece of software, save it to somewhere suitable. So we're going to save it to our desktop and we're going to quickly install it. So part of the installation, just go through, choose where you want to install it, accept the user agreement, etc. as you would normally. Choose where you want it to go, click on installs. When it's done, it'll come up and open up a window telling you how to actually use the software, but it's actually very, very simple. And if you've got any comments or questions about the software itself, you can click on the support link there and send them an email and go through the frequently asked questions, etc. Anyway, let's close this down. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch the program. And first of all, you can choose which drives you do. So if you want to do it for your main hard drive, if you've lost a file from maybe your My Documents folder, choose a C drive, and then you can choose the scanning mode, either quick scan or deep scan. So you can choose between the two, and you've got things like advanced settings. So you can choose what you want to look for, so whether it's documents, photos, videos, compressed files, all that kind of stuff. Or you can put in a custom extension file, so if it's a, a bin file or something along those lines, you can choose that. And also you can choose specific folders only. So if you want to just do a specific folder, you can do. It's very simple to do. Let's uh, cancel that. So what I want to do is actually I've got a USB drive, which is connected, which is currently drive D, which has got some data on which I need, which is basically a PDF invoice, which I have accidentally deleted. So what we want to do is choose our saved path. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new place to send our recovered files. We're going to choose the desktop. I'm actually going to create a new folder on the desktop for this purpose. So we'll call that recovery. Click on OK. And there we go. So that is where the documents that are recovered are going to save to. With some drives, you can only choose a deep scan. So we'll go ahead with that and click on start recovery. Now, potentially, this is quite a deep scan, so it could take a long time. It does give you the benefit on this of actually telling you the elapsed time and also the estimated time remaining once it gets into the uh, the swing of things. So what we'll do is we'll fast forward through this. Yeah, that's going to take about 30 minutes or so to scan that drive. So we'll skip through and come back with the end result. Okay, so the recovery is done, and when it's done, you can just click on a button that says Show Recovered Files. So this is the deep scan on our drive D. And double click on it, there's our recovery folder. And it's nice that it breaks it down into the individual components. So we've got our docx, which is our Windows documents for Word. We've got some JPEGs, MP4s, PDFs, PNGs, and some zip files. And also there's a log of what was recovered, etc. So if, for instance, you go into JPEG, We'll show a bunch of JPEGs. Now this drive has been used for all sorts of things. Um, looks like it's got some work stuff on here from previously, so thumbnails, etc. So it's recovered all that kind of stuff, and obviously images it will pick up should you need to. But the one I'm more interested in is actually a PDF file. So let's go in PDF, and there is a bunch of files there. Now sadly it doesn't always rename them exactly as they should be, but it does recover the file, and it looks like that's about the right file size. So Looks like they've got the same dates because that's the recovery date. So let's just take a look and see if this is what I actually needed. And yeah, I've blurred this out for obviously for security reasons, but yeah, that is the one that I actually wanted. So that is absolutely brilliant. So I can print that out and add it to my tax return. Absolutely brilliant. So if you want to use this software, it's absolutely free. So it's WinFR GUI. Again, this is going to be updated on a semi-regular basis. There is somebody working on it. So if there's any things that need to be added or that can be changed or improved, then clearly it will be. 
again for scanning hard drives usb drives flash drives all that kind of stuff this really could save your bacon so anyway hopefully this video has been helpful to you if it has don't forget to smash the like button if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis then hit that subscribe button and the chime notification and you'll see us in your daily feed but for now i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and how to and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video thanks for watching